Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome to Good Morning with me, Misty B. Now, by now you know that if you watch the show that I absolutely love food. Well, today I'm gonna go a little bit further. I am going to bring some of those amazing influencers that we all follow when we're looking for good food recommendations right here into the studio. That's right, I have Miss Chef Vicki V. You may know her as the Queen of Yum. And I have Mr. Grundy Wiley. And you also may know him as Bless the Belly. So guys, Guys, stay tuned. They are right here in the studio and we're going to talk about some fun things that they're working on this weekend. See you in just a second. Real estate can be a very complicated process. Finding one, how much can you afford? Financing, closing costs, mortgage, putting it on the market, considering offers, inspection, negotiations, submitting offers, schools, down payment, title insurance, home warranty, taxes, review net sheets. These are the pieces of the puzzle of home ownership. I'm the person who helps put it together and the glue that keeps it together. Give me a call. Most multivitamins have ignored the health and nutritional differences of African Americans. What we require is a multivitamin designed to best suit our needs. After years of treating patients and fighting health disparities, Dr. Greg Hall, physician, researcher, and educator, created a formula of multivitamins specifically designed for African-American men, women, and adults over 50. Sequence Vitamins, because our needs are different. Available at SequenceVitamin.com. My prenatal promise is to make sure my baby is safe and healthy. Because I know it is possible to acquire syphilis, HIV, or other STDs without knowing it, getting tested is my very first chance to protect my baby. Doctors are required to give expectant mothers three separate tests for syphilis. If you're pregnant, ask your doctor if you're being tested properly for syphilis and other STDs. Congenital syphilis can lead to a miscarriage, stillbirth, or an infant death. Don't risk your baby's health. To find out more, visit MyPrenatalPromise.com. Experience the pinnacle of performance at Big Star Cadillac, formerly Ron Carter Cadillac. Drive the new 2021 Cadillac XT5 Luxury Collection for only $449 a month. Or the new 2022 XT6 Luxury Collection for $549 a month. All for 39 months lease with just $1 down. At Houston's only Cadillac to your door dealer, Big Star Cadillac. Gulf Freeway, just two minutes south of the shop Beltway. Shop smarter when you shop at Big Star. Shop BigStarCadillac.com. I'm Jonathan Cox with the Cox Radio Law Firm. For years, we have represented people who have been hurt or injured all over the country. But Houston is home. We fight for those who have been hurt or injured, however it may happen. So if you've been injured in a car accident, big truck accident, or even while at work, call our injury hotline at 1-800-HURT-NOW or log in to BigCityAccidents.com and let us fight for you. Welcome back, everyone. So listen, let's be very honest. When you're looking for the next greatest place to go eat, where do you first go? I know what I do. I usually go to Instagram or I go to TikTok and I'm like, huh, let me see. Well, I'm saying all that to say that today we have two amazing bloggers right here in the studio. We have the queen of yum. Hello, Miss Vicky. Hello. And we have Grundy hey. Wiley. Bless the belly. Bless the belly it's the now. names for me. It's yeah. the names. You know, we try. The yeah. queen of yum. <laughs> yeah. Bless. Cause, okay, so I don't know if you ever watch my show, but every time I do a tasting, if it's good, I always say, oh, this is a blessing. Because good. it's like it's dancing, it's having a party of in my course. mouth. Yeah, for sure. in my yeah. Taste buds are loving it. All right, the Queen of Young. <laughs> yeah. How did you get that name? Um, you know, I was uh, formerly the Fat Girl Food Chronicles, and I said, "You were." Yes. I remember. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I said, "You know what? It's time for me to go into the next season of uh, my brand, uh -huh. and I wanted something that was more evergreen." And I was like, "You know, if I'm, I feel like a queen. My name is Victoria. All right, Victoria. So it naturally <laughs> came like Queen Victoria, yeah. and so I was like Queen. And then I always had my Yum Crumbs, which were my followers, and so it naturally." was like the queen of young. I love that. Yes. Okay. And yeah. then for you, Grundy, bless the belly. Man, listen, it, it's been a journey, but I can honestly say it stemmed from me kind of not 
eating fast food. I kind of ah. stand away from fast food. And it was just a catchphrase that I started saying, like, hey, we're not going to just go out to eat. We're going to bless the belly. And then I turned into a brand. And, like, here we are. Everybody's like, bless the belly. So it's I love cool. that, though. Yeah. So you, okay, literally started from not wanting to eat fast food. Mm-hmm. And That's so what right. were you going to eat? What were you doing? Uh, Before that? Before I came Oh, no, no, that? no. When you came up with the night. Like, so oh. you, did, you started not wanting to do fast right, right, food. Right, right, right. So where were you going? Food trucks? So, uh, yeah, like, the whole thing. It was weird because I'm a creative, right? So I come up with, like, different ideas and catchphrases and stuff. So I didn't even know what I was doing, technically. Ah. I had a camera roll full of, like, food food images already I was like you know maybe I had an old Instagram I want to revamp I was like I'll just make it a food page and then I stopped eating fast food and then it just kind of same thing just came love that became a whole wave yeah, yeah. and Vicky yes. the queen of yum you were actually a chef I am okay. professional Ooh, chef professional uh, chef yes. that means culinary school I did okay love culinary it. school in Philadelphia okay uh, when I lived there many many moons ago okay <laughs> um but yeah you know um I am a professional chef I'm a professional food stylist mm. um blogger you know all I got that good stuff th- all that good stuff girl <laughs> isn't it amazing though think about it because I you know I'm the food truck lady isn't right. it amazing though that you love food that we love food and you get to do stuff regarding food like think about that yes. for dreamers yes. all right so so let's fast forward. So you guys are doing something fun this weekend. Yes. All right. Now, the name of the event is Houston Hosts Black Bloggers 2021. Yes. Who came up with this idea? Talk, talk me through this. So it was an idea. Honest, ironically, um, so Black Food Fridays, shout out to uh, my friend in Charleston, South Carolina. Okay. Uh, he was coming to visit. So I was like, I'm going to take him around the city and do my Nam Noir tour, which I started right before COVID. Okay. But we never got to do any uh, tours because of the shutdown and everything like mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Well, I was like, I could take him on that. So uh, Keandre had his uh, gumbo club. My Southern brand. My mm-hmm. Southern brand. Yes. Had his gumbo Excuse club. <laughs> had his gumbo club. And he was sitting there. And Erica from Black Girls with Brunch, I told her because we had all met each other. And so Keandre was like, can me and Erica go on a uh, tour with you? And I was like, no. <laughs> and then, <laughs> then I was like, nah, 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 nah. y'all yeah, cook up. And then um, I was like, you know what we should do? We should bring black bloggers, if we doing this, we should bring black bloggers from all over I love the that. United States and ha- have a group of us host them in Houston. I love that. Right. So let's talk about that really quickly. Let's dive into that because see what you're doing is collaborating. Right. Yes. So, and they always say that black people, they were always competing. That, and y'all are collaborating. And that is my, that, that's the, the vision of this is to show Houston through the lens of black owned businesses restaurants and cultural experiences right. but to do it and show them that we can work together as a group it's I not about that. me it's about the bigger picture okay yeah. okay so bless it's the belly us. what are you going to be doing this weekend how are you going to so, be hosting check me out now <laughs> so we have a full weekend i'll be handling some of the content as well so y'all stay tuned to the instagram okay facebook whatever else we gonna hype that up and then also um Saturday night I'll be hosting at Kiss. Yes, okay. so the Shindy. Wait, wait, wait. Shindy. We, 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 you shindy. DJing? Look. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not DJing. I'll be, you know, on the I'm night messing with you. Yes, yes. okay. Yeah. Okay. So that'll, ha- that'll be su- super fun. I'm excited for that. And uh, we'll I'll be dressed to impress, ready to eat, ready to even collaborate some more. Like everybody that's okay. in the building, we yeah. hope everybody can network and make it a big deal. I love that. And where are you guys? So where are the bloggers, the black bloggers? Where are they coming from? What parts of the world? So we have some from New York, Chicago, yes. uh, D.C. We have... Um, Oklahoma, okay. Ooh, Dallas, okay. and we have uh, it's one more come out on, there. I can't even that's okay. Just from everywhere. But from everywhere, <laughs> we didn't get really the West Coast. We got to show some love next year for them. Yeah. Oh, okay. But um, but yeah, we have uh, bloggers awesome. from all over, and then us. Here in Houston, we have um, my southern brand, right. Keandre. Mm-hmm. We have Erica from Black Girls Who Brunch, mm-hmm. right. Dash of Jazz. Okay. Of course, Bless the Belly and mm-hmm. myself. I love We're this. the uh, Houston host. Okay, yeah. so the queen, what are you going to be doing doing it? Because you know you're going to be busy. So she what's your be baby? Busy. <laughs> <laughs> I've already been busy. Um, but, you know, we have, so Friday we have a list of events, right? So we start off with a lunch uh, by Miko's. Um, but first of all, let's shout out to our sponsors, right? Oh, shout out to your sponsors. No, no, no. Listen, we got H-E-B. H-E-B. They said, you know, be the change. <laughs> and so when I oh, asked, I reached changing. out. Okay. Yeah, I said, uh, you know, I reached out and said, hey, this is what we're doing. They said, you know what, we want to support you in that, mm. right? Big appreciation to them. Black Restaurant Weeks, Ooh, because yeah. we have to support them. They've yes. done so much for our well, community, right. Uh-huh. right? We have Alto, which is a high-end uh, concierge yes. service. And we have to shout out Visit Houston or Houston First, because, hey, we're Houston. That's a, and this is a first-time event. This is a first-time event. That. That's that's a, a, it's, a okay. it's a blessing. It's a blessing. Come on. It's a, okay, Vicky, don't be stealing my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. That's mine. Now, look, I'm going to be nice. No, I'm joking. All right, so why this, though? Why this and why now? Why did you create? this um 
So I created it because there is a, first of all, a big push, a renaissance that's coming to Houston mm -hmm. with people wanting to visit, right? But specifically people of color and black people. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to travel, when it comes to hospitality, a lot of our spaces, we're not recognized, we're not given mm -hmm. our accolades because they don't think we do any, like things in excellence, right? Mm -hmm. It's always like we get the residuals or the crumbs, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Not the yum crumbs. Not the yum crumbs, but the other crumbs. Mm -hmm. Right. And so I said, no, we are not only trendsetters, we're innovators. Yes, trailblazers. We're I love trailblazers. it. Trailblazers. Mm -hmm. Let's do something in black excellence. And it can be black. Mm -hmm. And so I, I was like, this is something created for black creators. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love that. Bless the belly. What are your thoughts? So what are you hoping to achieve this weekend? What do you want the bloggers to walk away knowing and feeling? Well, just, you know, like the collaborative effort is one of the biggest things. Like she said, I love the fact that like we can all come together. I feel like it's going to be so many photos, videos, stuff to mm -hmm. linger on forever and just make it bigger and better, you know, every year. So I'm thankful. I'm excited. It's my first time and it's all our first time coming together doing this. That's so amazing. I just feel like, you know, as we continue to grow and stuff, I just want everybody to take what they can from it. You I know? love that. If it's, like I said, the collaborative effort, creative effort, for just wanting to eat, wanting to meet new people. Mm -hmm. It's been COVID. We're still in the pandemic. So to mm -hmm. be able to do this Absolutely. safely and still kind of, you know, grow. Have a good time. Show, you know, yeah. Okay, have how many people are y'all expecting? So the outside bloggers, they, we have, um, I think, 11. And so all together with the host, um, it's going to be 17 of us bouncing around the city. I and love that, black though. Homes. And that's perfect. It's intimate. Yeah. Okay, right. We have to take a really quick break, but we're going to come back and talk okay. more about y'all. Okay. All right, okay. guys. I am here with these amazing social media influencers, and they're going above social media. We're going to be right back right after this break. See you in just a second. Real estate can be a very complicated process. Finding one, how much can you afford? Financing, closing costs, mortgage, putting it on the market, considering offers, inspection, negotiations, submitting offers, schools, down payment, title insurance, home warranty, taxes, review net sheets. These are the pieces of the puzzle of home ownership. I'm the person who helps put it together and the glue that keeps it together. Give me a call. Most multivitamins have ignored the health and nutritional differences of African Americans. What we require is a multivitamin designed to best suit our needs. After years of treating patients and fighting health disparities, Dr. Greg Hall, physician, researcher, and educator, created a formula of multivitamins specifically designed for African American men, women, and adults over 50. Sequence Vitamins, because our needs are different. Available at sequencevitamin.com. My prenatal promise is to make sure my baby is safe and healthy. Because I know it is possible to acquire syphilis, HIV, or other STDs without knowing it. Getting tested is my very first chance to protect my baby. Doctors are required to give expectant mothers three separate tests for syphilis. If you're pregnant, ask your doctor if you're being tested properly for syphilis and other STDs. Congenital syphilis can lead to a miscarriage, stillbirth, or an infant death. Don't risk your baby's health. To find out more, visit MyPrenatalPromise.com. Experience the pinnacle of performance at Big Star Cadillac, formerly Ron Carter Cadillac. Drive the new 2021 Cadillac XT5 Luxury Collection for only $449 a month. Or the new 2022 XT6 Luxury Collection for $549 a month. All for 39 months lease with just $1 down. At Houston's only Cadillac to your door dealer, Big Star Cadillac. Gulf Freeway, just two minutes south of the shop Beltway. Shop smarter when you shop at Big Star. Shop BigStarCadillac.com. I'm Jonathan Cox with the Cox Radio Law Firm. For years, we have represented people who have been hurt or injured all over the country. But Houston is home. We fight for those who have been hurt or injured, however it may happen. So if you've been injured in a car accident, big truck accident, or even while at work, call our injury hotline at 1-800-HURT-NOW or log in to BigCityAccidents.com and let us fight for you. Welcome back, everyone. You have to say, that, that first segment was really exciting. So now let's find out more about y'all stories. Yes. All right, Chef Vicky, yes. Chef Vicky V, the queen of young. Yes. Talk to me about your social media, but no, I wouldn't say social media background, because being an influencer mm -hmm. is much more right. than social oh, media. Absolutely. People think it's just having a lot of followers. It's Girl, what is no. a follow without, what's a like without a dollar? But anyway, no, let's move saying. forward. Mm -hmm. But how did you get started? What was the moment you said, you know what? I'm gonna be an influencer. 
So my my progression was very organic. I never, I didn't even know what a blogger influencer I was. Mean, I had a roommate who had started Houston uh, Food Blogger Collective okay. uh, with a group of people. And he asked me, he said, hey, you want to go to our first meeting? I'm like, I'm not doing nothing. Okay. Yeah. And I kind of got... I didn't know what it was. And so I watched and I learned and I was around people. I was taking pictures of my food because I was a chef, Mm -hmm. not because I was a blogger. Uh And so it just was a natural progression. Then when I learned, hey, you can make money off of this, I'm like, okay, I still wasn't that committed to it. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But over the years, I got better at taking food pictures. Mm -hmm. And then I got a call from Grubhub and they were like, hey, you know what I mean? I want you to come and I want you to style. And then I got a call and they said, I want you to uh, style for a uh, cookbook. And then I I want you to do this and I do that and host. And so people People have just asked me to do things, and I think the only difference between me and somebody else is that I'm always willing to walk through the door. I mm. love that. What was your background before? My background is I am. My, I went to school for broadcast journalism. Okay, yeah. like we, you know, <laughs> yeah. we discussed, and then um, I also uh, went to culinary school when I lived on the East Coast. I love that. Mm-hmm. So where are you originally from? Houston. You, oh, you're Houstonian. How was yeah. Philly? Philly was great. Oh, okay. We got to talk about that later. Okay. All right. Bless the belly. She's a right. bit more seasoned than me. I've been in Houston. I don't leave it. It's, it's all right. okay. <laughs> yeah. Add to the gumbo. Right. <laughs> I, I heard about you. Okay. I remember telling some friend like, hey, um, something, something, something. You should do this. And they're like, oh, I should, you, you're saying like, bless the belly? I'm right. like, who is bless the belly? Right, right. So I looked you up and listen, I like food. Okay. Right. All right. Yeah. So how, what's your story? How did you get started? So. Um, something similar, graduating uh, in mass communications at Prairie View, I was always like hands on with content. I, same thing, I didn't know what it was, y'all. Like, uh-huh. I didn't know about influencer. I'm looking up definitions of entrepreneur. I'm like, I guess that's me. So I would do a lot of stuff like <laughs> that, but like I've that. always been hands on. Like, I'm the type of guy when I get a toy, I don't even read instructions. I play with it to get my best feel mm. of it. So, with content, I used to travel with people and do video work. I would make everybody look good but myself, let me say that. And uh-huh. it came to a point where I was like, man, I want my own platform, but what, but how, but you know. Mm-hmm. And just trying to figure it out. One thing that I know everybody in the world likes is what? Food. Food. You don't yep, like yes. to, I've been in fashion. I've done music. And you have this, it has its ups and downs, you know. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of like a weird industry. But I feel like food is very welcoming, open, happy. Mm-hmm. Like, you know. And uh, me being a musician, I started, like, making music about food. And I saw the transition from the songs that I was talking about in college and stuff. All up until now, hey, I'm making funny songs about tacos. And people are like, I love him. I love this. And I, I love that. I, it's like a movement. So mm-hmm. in my head, I'm kind of just like... Yeah, you know, I love I how you took something. all of your your passions and combined them. <laughs> that, yeah. I absolutely love right. that, and I preach that to people too because a lot of my peers say, "So what do we do?" Like I say, "Man, listen, find your skill set, find what you love, be creative, consistent, have some cool content. You can do whatever." I mean, seriously. Plus, the bad, I'm not going to ask you now, but I want to know how old you are. Don't tell me now. Don't tell you. you can, <laughs> how old are you? Twenty-eight. Wow, but you're doing so good at such a young yeah, age. I'm hard on myself, but I appreciate it for sure. You're doing a great job. Okay, yeah. Chef Vicky. So I know that he's not in the studio with us, but he is here. Yes. His presence, his energy. G is in the building. <laughs> so let's talk about your other the other influencer you're collaborating with, My Southern Brand. Yes. Tell me his story. So uh, Keandre of My Southern Brand uh, started off as an uh, engineer, uh-huh. and then uh, he was thrust in himself into the uh, world of food. That's it, and he, okay. Yeah, and he un, um, we have several different hosts, but he is the one that specifically uh, targets and works with black-owned business specifically. I love that. And he does Beyond Houston, right? Because he goes... I've seen him do like something in Alabama. He's from Alabama. Okay. You know what it was he did recently? I got to talk about this mm-hmm. because I've been hearing about this and I have yet to try. Y'all mm-hmm. tell me if y'all have tried it. If People from Midwest, okay, Chicago, okay. St. Louis, mm-hmm. they're always talking about this dog on fried fish and the spaghetti. Have y'all heard about this? No. Yes. Have y'all, you, he said no. I thought you, you were about it? to say the mild sauce, fried fish and spaghetti. No, I you know. have not heard of that? No. And that's, okay. yeah, that, I saw that recently on uh, My Southern Brand. Mm-hmm. I'm like, people keep saying this is good. One day I'm going to get around. Yeah. It's good. It's just, I mean, my, my uh, mother is from Michigan, and so they'll do fried fish and spaghetti. Oh, okay. Yeah. You, you've well, tried it. Yeah, I have. It's better than with, it's better than with french fries? I mean, I don't know about that. <laughs> I, I, I didn't think of it, it as, you know, a side. I right. thought of it as, like, you know how you're fixing a plate. It's okay. like, I got options. I'm going to just put a little fish and a little spaghetti on my plate. Options. Wait, wait. I know. <laughs> See, when I think about it, I think of it, it sounds like chicken parmesan yeah. on top of some pasta. Oh, but really? it's not, I mean, 
Oh. I've never had it like that. All right, I'm just okay. I admit, I'm not saying it's the way. I haven't tried it. Bless the belly thoughts. That, that you... sounds good. I want it anyway. I, <laughs> as long as it got good season, it's good, it's hot and ready. That's what I want. Okay, good flavors. I love it though. So let's talk about seriously. Like I love how you all have different backgrounds. Yes. Right. And I really want to dive into this collaboration. Yes. And you said something to me prior to the uh, interview. You mentioned about black bloggers and travel. Mm -hmm. And I know you have traveled a lot. Mm -hmm. I've seen you traveling. I saw you in Charleston recently Ooh, on Instagram. It was yeah. amazing. What is talk to us about that because if people want to become bloggers, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And you think sometimes I want to be an influencer, and I know a lot of times people think that being an influencer you have to have 2.2 .2 million followers. Right. Uh -huh. Again, I'm a, I always tell people Food Network family, Gordon Ramsay family, all these people family with my little 3,000 followers. Right. Until yeah. it start equating dollars, let's not focus right. on that. Right. But what advice would you give those who want to travel? who want to go into different spaces, but they feel intimidated, guys, by what they're currently seeing. What would you say? Go ahead. Let me go. Yeah, oh, go man. ahead. I, shoot, I'm big on that because, like I say, even now, my peers look at me, they think I've made it just because of mm -hmm. the moves I'm making. I'm like, no, we can do this together. It takes mm -hmm. a team. I don't even have a big team, but I think it's just like starting somewhere. You have to start somewhere. So, um, I mean, if you have an idea, you know, go around, try to figure it out, make something make sense of it. Mm -hmm. And then I feel like you just need to get it started because it's never going to be perfect. Like mm -hmm. we talked, I technically want a show, but it's like if I would have waited to get an actual show, I would have never started. Right. And here we are two, three years later. Right. I'm able to kind of build my brand. You see it, it's credibility. And then it's like, okay, well, let's get you in these spaces that you deserve anyway. So I just will fit. I would tell, you know, if you want to be a blogger and just start somewhere and then you'll figure it out along the way. But I give it like that. your best shot. Like I said, your skill set and everything's matter most. Matter yeah. most. And I'm going to talk about that because you have to, I, I'm, a, I'm a really big believer in being your authentic self. Oh, so absolutely. even though all three of us do something in food, we're, I love food trucks. Right. You're a chef. Yeah. You, just you food, love blessing people's yeah. bellies. So, yeah. <laughs> right. no, but just think about that. So, and let's talk about the event really quickly before we wrap up. Okay. If some bloggers, some local bloggers, let's say in the state of Texas, mm -hmm. it's happening this weekend, starting is. Friday. Is it too late to register? So it is a private event this okay. year. Okay. So we hand selected bloggers from all over the oh, United States okay. to come. And we invited them personally. Like, hey, we couldn't get everybody we reached out to. Um, you know, it, and it wasn't just like the the most popular. It was uh -huh. like, like you said, uh, numbers don't always equate influence, they right? Don't. So we wanted different people from different spaces who were doing mm -hmm. different things. And what we focus on is black excellence. I right? love that. In all those spaces, because that's what we're here to champion, because we do make moves. And sometimes we're all not always given the accolades for that, but we are doing our thing. And we are a lot of times spearheaders of movements, spearheaders of things that go viral, but we don't always get the accolades right. for them. So I said, you know what? We're going to champion us. I love that. And you're celebrating each other. Well, guys, yeah. our time is up. Thank you so much thank for you. blessing my studio yeah, and you. for bringing me some yum crumbs. <laughs> All righty, guys, I'm going to see you right after this break. Real estate can be a very complicated process. Finding one, how much can you afford? Financing, closing costs, mortgage, putting it on the market, considering offers, inspection, negotiations, submitting offers, schools, down payment, title insurance, home warranty, taxes, review net sheets. These are the pieces of the puzzle of home ownership. I'm the person who helps put it together and the glue that keeps it together. Give me a call. Most multivitamins have ignored the health and nutritional differences of African Americans. What we require is a multivitamin designed to best suit our needs. After years of treating patients and fighting health disparities, Dr. Greg Hall, physician, researcher, and educator, created a formula of multivitamins specifically designed for African-American men, women, and adults over 50. Sequence Vitamins, because our needs are different. Available at SequenceVitamin.com. My prenatal promise is to make sure my baby is safe and healthy. Because I know it is possible to acquire syphilis, HIV, or other STDs without knowing it. Getting tested is my very first chance to protect my baby. Doctors are required to give expectant mothers three separate tests for syphilis. If you're pregnant, ask your doctor if you're being tested properly for syphilis and other STDs. Congenital syphilis can lead to a miscarriage, stillbirth, or an infant death. Don't risk your baby's health. To find out more, visit MyPrenatalPromise.com. 
Experience the pinnacle of performance at Big Star Cadillac, formerly Ron Carter Cadillac. Drive the new 2021 Cadillac XT5 Luxury Collection for only $449 a month. Or the new 2022 XT6 Luxury Collection for $549 a month. All for 39 months lease with just $1 down. At Houston's only Cadillac to your door dealer, Big Star Cadillac. Gulf Freeway, just two minutes south of the shop Beltway. smarter when you shop at Big Star. Shop Big Star I'm Jonathan Cox with the Cox Radio Law Firm. For years, we have represented people who have been hurt or injured all over the country. But Houston is home. We fight for those who have been hurt or injured, however it may happen. So if you've been injured in a car accident, big truck accident, or even while at work, call our injury hotline at 1-800-HURT-NOW or log in to BigCityAccidents.com and let us fight for you. Welcome back, everyone. I absolutely love a good time and a good show. And this definitely falls in one of those categories. Had a grand time with these amazing, amazing people. So, you know, listen, I absolutely love talking to all of my dreamers. And, you know, Bless the Belly said something that really, really resonated with me. And I want to read you something that I found in my journal from 2020. This is a little inspiration uh, from a lady by the name of Jenna Baker in Australia. She says, your ideal people will find you when you remember who you are and you own it. Think about that, when you remember who you are and who you own it. And you know, we talked a lot about social media today. And this is something else she said. She said, stop stressing about how to get clients and people to find you. Be all of you. Your magnetism and your aura smashes any strategy or any algorithm out there. Think about that. Your aura is that amazing that it can kill any algorithm. So think about that, guys. Always, always think about being the best you. Be the best you. Show up as you every single day. Now, listen, I want you guys to chat with me. Are you an influencer? If so, what is it that you absolutely love about it? What is it that you're doing? Let me know. Talk with me on Instagram and on Facebook at American Star TV. Look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye bye.